Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Meet me again, Eni Arianti In this occasion, I will tell you about the weirdest food in Indonesia Indonesia is the big country From Sabang to Morocco with various types of culinary available Some of these Indonesian specialties, both in terms of self, ingredient use, or the way they are served, use unique ingredients. As we know, durian fruit generally consume a snack, such as durian soup, durian pancakes, and many others apart from being eaten immediately but who would have though if durian fruit can process two delicious side dishes to eat with rice the durian fruit process into food called tempoya tempoya is a typical food of malay ethnic group found in Sumatra, Kalimantan, as well as the Malaysian Peninsula. Tempoya is a dish made from fermented durian fruit. Tempoya is a food that usually consume as a dish, side dish when eating rice. Tempoya also can be eaten directly. But this is rarely done because some people cannot stand with the acidity and aroma of the tempoya itself. Tempoya is known in Indonesia, especially in Palembang, Bengkulu, Lampung, Jambi, and Kalimantan. Apart from that, tempoya is also known in Malaysia. In Palembang, tempoya is cooked with the main mixture of fish. But there are also people process tempoya with chicken or beef. In Lampung, tempoya used as ingredient in a mixture of the chili sauce. In Jambi, tempoya used as a flavoring ingredient for dishes. Tempoya season are deserved for cook daily cooking or for special occasion like celebration or wedding. Sumatran people process tempoya into special dishes such as chili sauce or use as a spicy mixture with a fish. One of the popular is brankas or pepes tempoyak from Jambi and pindang patin tempoyak from Palembang. In the form, in the form of soft and savory catfish, meat with a blend tempoyak as a ingredient. If you ask me how to make tempoyak. I will uh, I will answer you. It is quite easy. Because we just need two ingredients. The first is the main ingredient is durian fruit. The second ingredient is salt. The durian fruit need to be mashed and give salt. So the fermentation process is more faster. Put the durian fruit into a tight jar and let stand for 3 or 5 or maybe until 1 week for the good quality and good taste. Uh, the result is that durian dish has a strong aroma, strong texture with a distinctive sour taste. The sour taste Repeatedly comes from the highest level of lactic acid bacteria with which are formed during the formation process. Okay, that's all about my explanation about the weirdest food in Indonesia. 
Thank you for your great attention and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye bye.